Hello, all you great, grand, glorious Leos. Here is your forecast for October. I'm looking at it right now. Just a couple of announcements that I'd like to share. I am <clears throat> mentoring, doing personal mentoring for those who want to study astrology with me, uh, or for those who want to study Take Back Your Life with me. Uh, just let me know. You can contact me on my website, maxinetaylor.com. And speaking of um, Take Back Your Life, the book I came here to write, Your First Sexual Imprinting, is a personal empowerment book for women. It goes beyond astrology. And it, I, in it, I use my Take Back Your Life method. I think you'll find it very empowering. And some of you have been telling me that you're enjoying my hidden messages in your birth chart book. This is for astrologers and astrology students who want to understand the programming they got as a child. Anything I write with my take back your life method is how to get rid of it and replace it. Okay. Let us talk about this great, grand, glorious chart you have for October. First of all, first of all, let me put my glasses on. Oh, much better. The sun, the yellow planet, the giver of life will be in your third house of communication. And so I'm suggesting you write that book or write that blog or video that movie or just get out there and talk to people. It will be so energizing for you. On the 23rd, the sun moves into your fourth house of home, family, real estate. And this is a time when you may, this is the month then that you may wanna stay at home, which would be perfectly fine. Um, and make your home and family the center of your life. Now, we know Mercury's retrograde, so you're not gonna start any new projects on a retrograde Mercury. You're going to wait until it goes direct on the 18th. So with Mercury in your third house of communication, which is um, its natural house, you are gonna tie up the loose ends of that book that you started about five years ago. Uh -huh. Yep, time to get it finished and out there. And Mars, the red planet, is what you think about and talk about and how you think and how you talk. And it is in your third house of communication and you are telling it like it is. You are, it's like you're throwing caution to the winds and you are expressing your ideas um, particularly to your siblings, though not limited to them. And there may be one sibling who is particularly vexing right now. Mars is going to be in that third house of siblings and ideas and all that good stuff until the 30th. And then it will move into the fourth house and you will then uh, really go directly to family. There can be a little toe-to-toe -to -toe action there with you, you know, telling it like it is. And it's going to be there, of course, through um, November. So just be aware of that. And this would be a time to think in terms of renovation. Not while Mercury is retrograde, perhaps, unless you started the project before and this is a completion. Okay. Now, Venus, the planet of love, has been in your fourth house. And so this is really beautiful for loving times with family, beautifying homes. This would be great for people in real estate. On the seventh, Venus moves into your fifth house of fun and games, creative projects, uh, romantic involvement, perhaps, uh -huh. and children. And I consider pets to be children most definitely. So with Venus in your fifth house, it's time to have fun, fun, fun. Uh, 
and uh, daddy is not taking the T-bird away. Uh, I just dated myself on that one. Um, if you don't know what I'm saying, ask your grandma. So <laughs> the new moon, which is when things start moving forward, is on the 5th in 13 degrees of Libra. Find 13 Libra in your birth chart and you'll have the whole picture. This is when the energy starts moving forward. For a few days before uh, the 5th, no energy. After the 5th, energy. And the full moon, when things come to a head, on the 20th is in 27 Aries. This is in your ninth house of the big picture. The third house is your ideas, but the ninth house is expansion of your thinking so that you see options you didn't know you had before. This is really exciting. Okay. So I hope this is helpful and uh, enjoyable. And I hope you'll join me next month when once again, I take a look at your great, grand, glorious forecast. Till then, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.